it's the first day of the month um we made it to march so i think this vlogging thing might work out <laughs> um i am actually looking for new apartments to live in because my current apartment does not have a parking garage attached to it and i want one attached to it because right now i pay way too much money for parking and i don't want to do that i also think i could reduce my space size because i have a decent sized apartment i think it's above 650 to 700 square feet but i feel like it's way too much space for me i don't know um but we're gonna go do some apartment tours i have one today and then i have one um on monday too so i'll take you along <laughs> grocery shopping um for the week for the following week but i got myself a sweet treat <laughs> it's a peach soda so let's try it i hope it does not explode it's also raining it's starting to rain so i should go home soon so that i don't have to carry my groceries in the pouring rain okay no explosion Wow, it smells good. It is white peach, and it's actually not too sweet. Um, it's like juice. I thought it was gonna be carbonated, but it's good. Okay, I'm back home, and I've cooked myself dinner. I've been on a cooking kick lately, so I tried making Korean beef radish soup, and then um, I also had previous leftover kimchi pancakes that I made so I'm having that as the side there's my dipping sauce for the pancakes I like reheated them in the air fryer so hopefully they're a bit more crispy and my rice and the soup I more skincare products so I went to Marshall's after I walked um, because sometimes they have really good finds and sometimes they even have oh my gosh well, wow, look at my skin in this lighting. It looks crazy textured and blemished. Ugh. Um, we're gonna try and get rid of that. But we're trying this, I wanted a morning cleanser. Um, so we're gonna try this snail cleansing foam. And this brand, the skincare line, and then they have hand creams. Um, and then they have face masks too. But we're gonna try this out and see. And then I got, I was looking for kind of an under eye serum, not serum, um, something for my eyes, basically an eye cream. So I found this um, deep puff eye serum and let's see if it'll help my bags. And then the last one is this Curette Trouble Care Balm. So right now I'm really trying to work on getting rid of my acne and it's not helping that I have bangs that make my contribute to my oily T-zone, but hopefully these products help. But right before Denver I got this I got this um healing toner that has a bunch of stuff inside of it. So I'm still working to see how that's working with my skin. Um because it's been almost two weeks so yeah. guess what we're doing today we're going to yet another vintage festival this one's called the totally rad vintage fest i think um but it's at the bigger like convention center so i think there's gonna be a lot more stuff here but and then it seems like it's selling not only like vintage clothes but kind of vintage toys and it has like photo ops and stuff like that so i think it should be fun and um my ticket well i just got general admission and so it opens at 10 
um, let's go. I made it to the venue, but apparently everyone is here. Oh my gosh, okay, we finally made it after sitting through getting parked. There's also, this is at like the International Exposition Center that's near the airport. And then they have, they have an old Ohio Air Guard airplane. Right there. Apparently, there's a dance competition happening as well, which is why it's extra busy. maybe an hour and a half but it was huge it was a lot bigger than the last vintage festival that I went to and then this one not only had a bunch of clothes but also like toys and like vinyls and um, artwork and then even furniture it was really cool I got a couple I didn't buy any clothes I got some accessories I'll show you I'll show you guys what I got but first I need to drink water because uh, I'm so bad at drinking water when I'm at home. So I didn't get clothes. <clears throat> but I got accessories. Okay, I got a vintage watch and then two hair clips. But it's from Hot House Market. Okay, here's the watch. It has no battery in it, but I'm honestly got the watch for style and not to actually tell time. Um, I think I just need to clean it up a little bit, but this is it. <laughs> it's really cute, but I just like the gold chaining of it. And yeah, I'm excited to style it with my outfits. And then the hair clips that I got. Um, I just these two purple um checkered ones so i can match them on either side of my head and they're just the regular little hair clips but these were only um well they were a dollar each and then the watch was 20. so not too bad um i'm happy with my purchases i was trying to look for a leather jacket again could not find one but it's okay. They had a lot of cool stuff. Um, I probably could have stayed longer and looked at every stall, but it was kind of overwhelming because it was in a much bigger venue this time and a lot more people this time. So once I found these, I was like happy to like, I was okay leaving. So, um, but yeah, it was cool. I took a couple pictures and they had a bunch of like old school like toys and stuff and then they had like an arcade section and a little museum that had like the first gen ipod and some really old barbies and um the first generations of like the iphone and a couple other like cell phones um but it was fun and the vendors were from like not only from ohio so that was cool i think they're I think they were from Illinois. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. Um, this month, I'm gonna try and get rid of my acne. I don't know why I have so much acne right now, but I have been fairly influenced by TikTok that I think I have fungal acne now. So we're gonna test it and see. Um, but we're gonna clear up my skin this month. I'm determined. Um, so I went to Target. And for fungal acne, I said to test it um, using 
uh, dandruff shampoo as like a mask on the areas that you need to get rid of. So we're going to test that. And then I also got a fungal acne safe cleanser. Cause I think both my cleansers are not fungal acne safe, but this one is. Um, so yeah, we'll see how the progress goes throughout the month. But I feel like I definitely have it. Um, and yeah, I want clear skin. Even though you can't see when I wear my bangs, you can't really see my forehead anyways, but I had clear skin all throughout high school, luckily, very fortunately. And then I got to college and then I had a bit of acne, but not too bad. It was manageable. And now I just still have acne. And I'm like, I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing everything I can for it, but nothing's working for it. So I think it might be fungal acne because all the treatments I'm using for it, even though theoretically they should work, are not. So let's go on a skincare journey. It looks so good. <laughs> celebrate St. Patrick's Day but I live downtown so I can see the parade that's happening. There's all the people outside. Okay here's some paraders coming. I wonder if there's any floats at all, or is it just people? Okay, unboxing. I got a Nikki hoodie because she was having her sale. And I said, hmm, that hoodie's only like $30. Might as well get one. And it's from her world tour she did last year, 2023. And I saw her in Head of the Clouds. So I figured... I not support. And it looks like it's gonna be oversized. <laughs> and let me take this to grow. Oh my gosh. Look at it. <laughs> it feels soft and plush inside. And it says Nikki inside. It feels really soft inside, actually. Like, this is a warm winter hoodie. Maybe not a summer hoodie. And then her tour dates are on the back. Yay! Bit more unboxing things. I think I got, I think these are... I know what I ordered. I think these are the skincare pieces. I also ordered more skincare because honestly right now I don't know what I'm doing with my skin. But these are both um, fungal acne safe. And a little bit for sensitive skin too. So I got the Oin Calming Gel Cream. And I took a chance on this. Some people liked it, some people didn't. And it's the Anua Hartley 77% Soothing Toner. I don't know when I'll incorporate these in because I'm trying to see with if what I'm using right now, which I really minimized my skincare routine, is working. So I have these once I see results of if it's working or not. And then hopefully something will work for me. 
hopefully. Okay, we got another unboxing to do. Okay, I've been buying a couple things lately this month because I got my tax refunds. And also, I've been trying to um, redo my shoes that I own because I literally wear my shoes until they have holes in them. And I'm trying to invest in shoes um, that fit my wide foot and stop buying shoes that are not meant for not wide feet people. <laughs> if that makes sense. I have a pair of Reeboks because they were having their spring sale and it was up to 60% off. And the shoes I got, um, what did I get? The Club C Doubles? I think let me open it and they were only like $30 for a pair of Reeboks which is really really good oh my gosh why does it look so tiny <laughs> um yeah the Club C double oh double revenge that's what they are and then it's in um the chalk pink color. Uh, they look good. I'm excited. I'm pretty sure they'll fit me because I've had Reeboks before. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And the fact that Reeboks have like, um, well, most of them have like leather right here. So leather stretches over time, which is great for white feet. I got back from work today. And yes, I did wear my yellow flower clips to work. <laughs> the only hair clips I have are very bright colored, different colored, but flower shaped hair clips. Um, but I got it, I got it. I won a Yeti for taking a survey. Um, so now I have a Yeti, yay. And I have another, I got more shoes. So I ordered three pairs. And these are the New Balance ones that came in today. So let's unbox them. I haven't unboxed them. Um, what did I get? I got mm, the 574 Core. And I got these because they come in wide fit. Ready? Oh, I can't even see it. Oh, they're cute. They're cute. I got the like beige neutral color because I figured if I wear them to work, I didn't want them to be super colorful. And also, I wanted neutral so then they could go with more outfits. But they look good. Okay, update guys. Mm. My best friend from high school is coming to visit me and I'm gonna pick her up in about like 30, 40 minutes. And I'm so excited. She's gonna spend the whole weekend here with me in Cleveland. And she's my first guest here and first person like from Colorado, Denver, that's visiting me in my apartment. So I'm excited. We're gonna do brunch tomorrow. Um, we're going to Jack's Casino tonight and we're gonna do some other like touristy things. I think we might take her to the museum. We will see. But this weekend, the weather is gray, cloudy, cold. So we probably, I'll take her to the lake to go look at it, but we probably won't stay there too long. But I am excited. <laughs> you wanna be in it? <laughs> I took her to Mario. I'm excited. Just finished at the casino. We did. I lost all my money. <laughs> I lost almost all my money. But I was almost. I almost won all my money back, and I lost it again. <laughs> she kept gambling. I guess that's why there's gambling yes. problems. <laughs> yes, the gambler fallacy is very true. Right? You think you can just if you go one more time, you might win, but you don't. You just lose it all.
to the arcade <laughs> and we're waiting to take pictures because other people are taking pictures we went to Lionheart Coffee and now after we take pictures I'm gonna take her to Edgewater Park to see the lake because it's finally sunnier than yesterday the sun is out the sun is out today even though it's windy and cold buns out buns out buns out <laughs> no it's too cold our buns are not out <laughs> they will not be coming out either they never were and then we're gonna go to Asia Town to try Alpha, Alpha Ramen. The child. I did hear the child. <laughs> Brought the lady. It does. It's warm in here. Now we just need a beach. A beach. It's very tropical, humid, kind of. Okay, I brought Delaney to Rockefeller. Um, what is this called? A greenhouse. <laughs> the Rockefeller greenhouse. I've never been here, but it's actually surprisingly nice. It doesn't seem too huge, but it's a nice break from the cold, windy winter weather outside. forward though okay part two part two we made it across the street you can know that driver i had so much fun here Sabine is a great person too <laughs> so a, person to a good tour guide that's what you're looking for yeah but i've been saying that a lot so i'm trying to find different oh, okay <laughs> yeah great tour guide we could just sit out here yep we had she basically saw all of Cleveland in a weekend, and that's all she needed to see to see Cleveland. I saw a lot. I, I saw so much that we forgot what we were doing yesterday at 2 p.m. <laughs> we also saw that Travis Kelsey was here. Yeah, but we didn't see him. I'm still looking around. <laughs> She's looking for him. Not in front of us, not behind us. <laughs> Update on my apartment finding. Um, I haven't talked about it too much besides, like, I showed you... I told you I was touring apartments, um, but behind the scenes been stressing because I submitted an application, but there was a wait list because none of the units that I wanted were available. But today I just found out a unit was available today. So um, my application is in for that and I'm thinking I will get it. But yeah, I got the text message from the um, leasing office group and I was relieved because I honestly it's almost the end of March um, and I still hadn't found a place I, or like for sure had found a place 
I knew I was going to be moving in within the next two months. But now I have a place to live, I'm pretty sure. So now I'm relieved <laughs> and a little stress-free. <laughs>